What's up, Gemini? Do yourself a favor and trust yourself. You are in the right place. So here is your moon message for the waning gibbous in Taurus. This is covering September 13th through the 16th. And this energy is all about removing or releasing anything that doesn't serve you aesthetically. This could be losing weight or cleaning up your house. So this is a love reading. So when we're talking about love, this could be kind of cleaning house when it comes to relationships or just kind of removing the energy that isn't really serving you. The creator is coming out. Okay, Gemini. So this is all about creating your reality and also realizing that you are the creator of your reality you are the ultimate manifester of everything bad good great and in between that comes to you so this is really about minding your thoughts all creation starts with thought and i love that we have a 22 on this card because it makes me think something is really popping off for you this year and especially when we're talking about a love reading i'm really getting the feeling that it's like you're creating such a beautiful reality around you through your words, through your thoughts, through maybe literal scripting, writing it out. And maybe it's even like some of you are artists or something like that. Maybe some of you are singers, musicians, but you're creating so much beauty that it's like it seems to be manifesting physically. So let's get more about that. Also, so the magician is kind of like your creator in tarot, and that's Mercury ruled. So that is Gemini energy and also Virgo energy. So maybe you're also attracting another, another Gemini, possibly a Virgo. Let's get more for Gemini, for the waning gibbous in Taurus. I feel like this is opening up this creator energy. So don't be surprised if during this moon phase, you kind of you meet somebody or someone really sparks your interest here more for gemini the tower so it seems like there's some type of tough moment or something that you're going through it's really an enlightening moment it's a learning moment it's a teaching moment but it seems really bad at first. So give me more on this. Like I said, this is kind of cleaning house season, if you want to say that with the mood phase. So I do, that kind of makes me think of this energy, right? The tower is kind of like renovating a house, making it really ugly on the inside and having to gut it before you beautify it. So I feel like that's kind of the storm energy. The Knight of Cups, yeah, someone's coming in for you, Gemini. The tower is Aries energy, Knight of Cups energy is score. No, that's not Scorpio energy. That's Pisces energy. But it is water sign energy. So it does seem like there's after it's like the calm after the storm is what I'm getting. I feel like you're making lemonade out of lemons with this tower moment. And that's why you're being offered this opportunity with this person. The fool. Yeah, it's a new person coming in. Aquarius energy. I love it. Underneath it, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So your job is to not worry. Look at this. The magician's all over this. Yeah, this could be a Pisces, could be a Virgo, could be another Gemini. I knew the magician was going to come out. But this is definitely the energy of going, like, going your own way and having something very beautiful come out of it. Let's get more for Gemini and who's coming into their reality. I feel like this is a very powerful creator, a very powerful manifester. This person goes out and gets what they want at any cost. They could have also just gone through a breakup. That's possible. Give me more for Gemini. What does Gemini need to see? Start. You must start from where you are. Examine your situation and take a chance. Something's telling me to take this one originality feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way so there's a lot about you being very unique and doing things in your own way and creating your reality in the way you like to create it and that's what's bringing in this person but this is definitely a new person a new situation the calm after the storm after some some type of crazy shit went down gemini all right and i like i said pause or Calm after the storm and pot or wow. Now I don't know where it went. The pause card was just under there. Oh, there we go. Other side of the deck. So this is your pause moment before something crazy and really good comes in. 
Give me more for Gemini. What does Gemini need to see for this waning gibbous and Taurus? What's coming through? Cloud revelation. Yeah, there's a new beginning for sure. I'm telling you with this revelation energy, there's clouds all over this too. This is a revelation. This is an enlightening moment. There's something happen and it could literally be on a storm, Gemini, like the night that it rains or something, or there's a thunderstorm. There's someone coming in or something coming in where it's completely new, completely original, completely beautiful, and it's not too good to be true. So don't think that it is. Give me something else for Gemini. They're telling me to take my right hand. What does Gemini need to see through the charms? Of course, we have this paused energy. So I feel like you're going to be chilling, Gemini. You're just going to be in your own element. Anchors are usually dropped when, you know, you want to pause a ship or a boat in the sea. It's like you're putting something down. It's like to stop a moment. I feel like this person's coming towards you. It landed on the night for a reason. You're going to be just doing your own thing in your own element. This person's coming towards you. And it couldn't literally be, I'm getting a water energy or maybe something with rain or something like that. Maybe you're going to be near the water, near the sea. Give me something for Gemini and this person. So we have Uranus and Pisces, which Uranus is all about big, sudden changes, erratic energy, which really goes with the tower revelation. And Pisces is all about an enlightening moment, very wise. So that really goes, there's definitely a revelation coming to Gemini. A revelation brings about a new person, someone to nurture and care for. That's the fourth house. This is home energy. So I feel like you're going to be home when you meet this person. So just be mindful of rainy nights, Gemini, and being at home, being in your own element, because it seems like all of a sudden, like, yeah, there's going to be some type of storm maybe you already went through this maybe you weathered this storm but this person has a rose they have a full cup for you i love that they're gonna they're gonna blow your world that's what i'm getting they're gonna knock your socks off gemini gemini almost forgot an affirmation card for you so i'm just gonna pull one out really quick and see what the universe wants to tell you about this person coming in how to handle your shit Ooh, passions Pursuing my hobbies and unique interests. There's a lot about unique energy. Is not a waste of time. My hobbies bring me pure inner joy and my interests light up my spirit in fantastic ways. I dismiss societal pressure and simply allow myself to enjoy the things I like. This is literally following your joy and joy will follow you, Gemini. So I just wanted to add that in. I felt like that was important. And of course, it went totally well with the reading. So thanks again, Gemini. I will catch you later.